Chair. Um, you know, over the last four weeks, I've had the privilege of introducing some very good bills uh, into this legislature, and this will certainly be one of them. Uh, I'm pleased uh, to, to introduce this bill uh, because the reality is, Mr. Speaker, that uh, domestic and intimate partner violence continues to be an issue here in New Brunswick and across Canada. Steps have been taken over the years to address the issue, both in terms of services and legislation, but much of the focus has been on addressing the issue after the fact. As, it imp as important as it is to support victims of intimate partner violence, we need more tools to prevent it. That is why we are introducing the Disclosure to Protect Against Intimate Partner Violence Act. This act will allow individuals to apply for information from the police to find out if their partner has a history of intimate partner violence. This will give those at risk another tool to make informed decisions about their safety and their relationships. The application process also provides another opportunity for violence prevention and that applicants can be offered and referred to programs and support services. It is important to note that the privacy of the subject of request is always protected and applicants will only be provided with a risk assessment and contextual information. No details of criminal convictions or similar types will be provided uh, of that information. This will be done verbally, no documents will be shared, and applicants will be barred from sharing or publishing any information received, and it cannot be used in any legal proceedings. Uh, Mr. Chair, we'll continue to explore ways to make New Brunswickers' homes lives as safe as possible. And uh, with that said, I do want to, we're going to have an introduction here from one of the members of the committee, but I do want to, as a minister, also welcome uh, Colette Martin here from the Mayor Machi. Uh, she's an advocate for what's known as Claire's Bill, which is very similar to what we're introducing. And, uh, and she's been a strong advocate in regards to uh, uh, trying to mitigate and end uh, domestic violence. So I'm happy to take any questions from the members uh, in relation to this bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Minister. At this time, I'll recognize the member from Miramichi. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I too would like to um, stand and uh, recognize this bill as being an amazing bill, an amazing bill brought forward by the, uh, the minister and his team, and also to recognize my friend Colette in the, in the gallery. Um, Colette's here with us today because she's an advocate and she's been fighting for, like the minister said, for Claire's bill for a long time. In 1997, Colette herself was almost murdered by an ex-boyfriend. He smashed the door in the middle of the night, attacked her, slit her throat, and stabbed her 37 times. It took her a long time to start to heal and to finally have a voice. And now she's fighting for everyone that doesn't have a voice, for those that we've lost. She's sharing her story and she's the voice for many others. And because of it's her strength and her courage that she's here today and she's saving lives. And this is what this bill is essentially gonna to do too. It's gonna to save lives. So I'm very pleased to have my friend Colette here with us today and to share this, this uh, the magic of the, the bill going forward and to, uh, to see it happen for us. Thank you, Mr. Chair.